do you, an antelope, a bacterium, an ant, a tree, and a whale all have in common? Well, you actually have six very, very important things in common. All living things have six things in common. Today, we'll be exploring these six characteristics in the context of good old Mr. Worm. All living things sense and respond to the things going on around them, to their environment. So I've got different scents lined up here. I've got lemon, vanilla, mint, and vinegar. And I want to see if my worms can smell these different scents and respond to that. I'm going to need some extra hands on this one, so I'm going to employ my absolute favorite sidekick, Professor Crazy Pants. Say hello, Professor Crazy Pants. Hi. Testing regular water. Let's see if my worm responds to water. Ooh. To lemon juice. Oh, Up next we have vanilla. Let's see if my worm will respond to the vanilla. Ooh. Mint mouthwash. Let's see if we can get a response to the mint. Oh yep. Yeah. Finally we have vinegar. Let's see, Bryce, what do you think? Not my name. Oh, Professor Crazy Pants, sorry. Oh yeah, he's definitely turning his head away from vinegar, right? Mm -hmm. See if we can get him to back up a little bit. I what? know, I, I what? know. Look at him. Oh, yep, yeah, he's backing up. He's getting away from the vinegar. For our second test, I want to see if worms can sense and respond to moisture around them. The paper towel is going to be wet, the other half is going to be dry, and I want to see if my worm can tell the difference. What do you think, Professor Crazy Pants? Do you think they'll be able to know? First, I'm going to start with the worm's head on the wet side of the paper towel. Looks like the worm is moving toward the dry side. Next, I'm going to start with his head on the dry side of the paper towel to see if that makes a difference. 